kicking off something new this morning. We're calling it Brain Power today, all about strengthening your mind to improve your life. That's right. Here to get us started is our special anchor, Maria Shriver. Maria, good to see you as always. Morning. Brain Power, remember that. <laughs> oh, started. Well, today we're going to take you inside the teenage brain, a mysterious place for sure. And as parents, we all want our kids to thrive and make friends. But many teens suffer from social anxiety. Well, now one innovative program is retraining their brains to be more socially confident using some very familiar technology. It looks like a video game, but this is actually a high-tech classroom, training the brains of shy teens like Jeff and Charlotte to be more social. I've learned how to start a conversation, just how to break the ice. You're more confident? Yeah, because normally I'm not like that. Call it the Teen Socialization Lab. Based at the Center for Brain Health at UT Dallas, it's run by cognitive neuroscientist Dan Krawczyk. A lot of the skills that we need in life uh, link back to the brain. So it His virtual lab, designed to help kids overcome social anxiety, aggression, and bullying. Do you find the kids that come in here are in many ways more comfortable in a virtual world? than the, quote, real world. I think it does make that more appealing and less threatening, especially with individuals who are anxious socially. All right. Here's how the program works. First, kids have their social skills tested. A lot of different emotions. Then, they enter the virtual reality lab, where their avatar faces social challenges involving other kids and adults. Jeff, a college freshman with mild Asperger's, struggles with new social situations. I have a hard time of putting words and uh, ideas together easily, as other people do. So today, he's conversing with a new roommate. Have you gotten classes all settled? His counselor next door coaching him through it. That's a good sign from him. Pausing and replaying the interaction until he does better. The program is 10 half-hour sessions over five weeks. Jeff says he feels socially confident for the first time, even in a network TV interview with me. Were you nervous about this? Um, yeah, I was getting a little bit of uh, jitters, but I was thinking, stay focused and relaxed. I think this program has definitely helped me to connect to the topics better um, and connect to what you're saying. Two published studies find the program gives subjects like Jeff better social skills. Krawczyk says it actually can rewire their brains, boosting the areas responsible for sociability. What does this project do tomorrow? Well, how much do you have to do of it? It helps Charlotte, an eighth grader with ADHD, become more socially perceptive. Her mom says now she interrupts less and listens more. Before it was all about what she thought and then she would impulsively jump in and then she'd get a bad response. So yeah. what this has been able to do is let her think about what other people are thinking or feeling and then how she can react appropriately. Do you find that you, you're able to converse with your friends better now? Yes. They're like, Charlotte, you changed. You're like more open. I was like, yeah. Well, right now, the virtual reality program is only available in Dallas, and it costs about $1,800 per student. But researchers are trying to raise funds to spread it to school and counselors nationwide, because they think it will really be effective in all schools for kids of all ages. By the way, those kids are so courageous oh, yeah. to so go courageous. on and do a big interview and, and go through that process on a big stage. I think that's really cool. And it was fascinating to watch them work through these situations. Yeah. And they say you can actually watch how their brains calm down and then allow them to interact, allow them to think, allow them to have a completely different life. So the scans show all that? You yes, can really exactly. see how your brain's changing? They show wow. it in the beginning and then yeah. they show it at the end. And that's what's so exciting about this whole space and why the series is exciting is because, because of technology now you can see into the brain before and after. And you're going to have more tomorrow. We're going to have more tomorrow. We're going to look at the brains of obese people, which actually turn out to be wired very differently. Oh, wow. Which might explain why some people struggle to lose weight. Maria, very thank cool. you. Thank, thank you, you, Maria. Nice to see you. Brain power. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.